Okay, you ready? I'm good. All right, good afternoon. Mayor Joe Yoakum, Council President Tim Salters here for our Wednesday update. And it looks like we've had another uh, good week with numbers. Uh, today we had zero new cases. Uh, and for the week, we've only had 36 new cases. So, I mean, that's huge. Yes, and we're down to uh, 50 or less active cases. Uh, the last time that was what? The, the end of March, yeah. beginning of April? Yeah. Like, I mean, so what you're seeing right now, numbers wise, is what we haven't seen since the beginning, which right. is a good sign. Right. And even though, even with that, the good, the good numbers, we have had two additional deaths. Yeah. We're up to 82. So, you know, our thoughts and prayers are with those families. We, you can't take this lightly. No. We still need to keep up with everything we're doing. Washing your hands, keeping your distance, wearing face covering, staying home if you're sick. But overall, our numbers are really coming down and we're close to going back to blue. Yeah, extremely close. And we'll kind of hit those numbers as we go. So obviously it's County Metric Day. So we came out today, we're yellow and we are on the verge of blue. Yes. And if you would have been talking to us a couple of weeks ago, you know, nobody would have thought we would have been here, but this is great. We are still in a downward trend. Our number is a solid one, and that's close to getting to a 0.5. So when you look at our cases per 100,000, we're at 117 uh, this past week. Last week we were at 160. So we've seen these huge drops go down to this. Our seven day positivity is at 4.44. Last week it was at five. So what this means is our seven day positivity is at a ranking of zero now. And then our cases per 100,000, we're still at a two, but we are 17 away uh, from going to a one, which would put us at a 0.5. So we are really close. Now, if you look at the cases, like the mayor said, uh, starting this week, we had two, a one, a one, a zero. So when you add those out and they take that number, they multiply it by your population, they divide it. Um, so there, there's a mathematic component to this, but we're getting to a spot where we're pretty close to seeing blue. And if the trends continue, now I'm pretty confident we'll see blue either next week or the week after right. if we stay in the trends that we are. Uh, and like the mayor said, that doesn't mean that we take our foot off the gas now. What has got us to this point is everybody working together, following those protocols, you know, staying masked up, socially distancing, you know, washing your hands. And more importantly, the big thing we've been hitting on is Hey, if you don't feel good, stay home. Yes. And I think a thing that we'll, we'll add to this is when it's your time to get vaccinated, go out there uh, and get vaccinated. That information is still the same as it was last week. It's 65, 65 and up. Um, we're probably gonna see some changes with that, but just go to rshot.in.gov and that'll have all your information. We're assuming that with the big right. storm that didn't just hit us, it hit all of Indiana. Uh, they'll probably hold up until they change some of those things. So. The numbers couldn't be better. When we look at a state level, there's no red counties anymore. And we've seen more blue counties um, than we started doing the county metrics. So things are really good. Our area is just littered with yellow and blue. There's really not an orange in the southwest portion of Indiana. Things are really good, good for the state of Indiana, extremely good for Knox County. Uh, but we've got to follow those protocols. So let's just keep up the, the good work and, yeah. and we'll get there. And other than that, I do want to talk a little bit about the snowstorm. Just, just a little bit about the yes. snow. <laughs> uh, we did get a few inches of snow. I want to give a shout out to the street department, yes. the cemetery, the parks department. They all work together. They all have equipment to cover streets. They've been out working hard at it. Uh, so just want to give a quick shout out to them. They've done an amazing job. Um, I appreciate everything they're doing. Yeah, and then when you think about it, I mean, we got what close to over over 12 inches of snow within a very short amount of time. Like, I mean, it came down pretty hard, and it's the sheer volume of that on every one of our streets. Our main look, roads look great. Our primary, secondary roads look great. Great. I mean, our roads are drivable. And right. if you would have said something like that when we were getting hit by that storm, people would be like, "Oh, there's no way." They've done a fantastic job, and we can't be more thankful for the work that they've done. Absolutely. And with that, because of the snow, we were, they had predicted another large snow for tonight and tomorrow, uh, but it doesn't look like we're going to get that. But because of that, we've canceled trash pickup for this week. Uh, next week, we'll get back to regular schedule. We wanted the street department to concentrate on getting our streets cleared rather than pick up the trash this week. So. Yeah. 
And other than that, Mayor, I think uh, you hit your lines. Wash your hands, keep your distance, wear a face covering, and if you're not feeling well, stay home. Have a good one.